Good morning, Northwest Time is 6.52. Time for your morning sprint. Caroline Flynn live helping you prepare for Hoop Fest. And Mark Peterson showing us some sunny and mild weather for your work week. But first, Kootenai County deputies need your help finding this man. 86-year-old Lyle Anderson's family hasn't heard from him since last Monday. He's 5'9", about 210 pounds with gray hair and blue eyes. Deputies think he may have gone for a drive to the backcountry with his dog. Uh, near the North Fork of the Coeur d'Alene River. If so, he would have been driving a dark gray Jeep Patriot SUV. License plate number there on your screen. If you've seen him or have any information about where Anderson is, call 208-446-1300. The Shoshone County Medical Examiner is working to identify a body pulled from the Coeur d'Alene River this weekend. Someone reported finding the body floating on a fast hill near Kingston. Deputies were able to get it out of the river but could not identify the person. The body is believed to be the same one reported by fishermen May 25th, three miles upriver. Now, this is a different body than the one found by construction workers also in Kingston on Thursday. Detectives with the Shoshone County Sheriff's Office say those remains have now been removed from where they were found in a ravine near an I-90 overpass. We still do not know the identity or even the gender of that person or the circumstances surrounding their death. All right. This morning, some sunshine, clouds uh, moving out in your commuter condition. It's cool temp, sunny and 45 as you head out the door. Uh, we've got a pretty nice setup for at least the next couple of days. It's quite a bit of energy that's down into Oregon, parts of central Idaho, and then pushing into Montana. But for eastern Washington, we're going to have some high thin clouds. We're going to have some sunshine and mild temperatures. It does warm up. We'll have a look at that forecast coming up in just a little bit. The way the Internet is regulated in the U.S. is about to change. The controversial repeal of Obama-era net neutrality protections officially takes effect today. Republican-led FCC voted in December to repeal the rules that were intended to prevent Internet providers from blocking, speeding up, or slowing down access to specific online services. More than 20 states, including Washington, have filed a lawsuit to stop the net neutrality repeal. The president preparing for a historic meeting with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. The first ever summit between the two countries is set for Tuesday morning in Singapore, which is actually 6 o'clock tonight, our time. President Trump says his goal for the meeting is to get North Korea to agree to denuclearization. Looking ahead to your commute now, starting this morning, Sharp Avenue along Gonzaga's campus will be closed for the whole summer. The city is working on some major changes to the stretch between Hamilton and Ruby, including adding bike lanes, wider medians, and reducing traffic to one lane. The city estimates the project won't be done until sometime in the fall, so in the meantime, if you need to get around the area or access the GU campus, you'll need to find a different route. In just about two hours, No Lie Brewhouse will present a check to Rogers High School for $12,000. That will go toward new football jerseys for the school. The brewery raised most of the money by selling limited edition We Are Spokane t-shirts. But according to its website, there are still a few left in stock. No Lie says the fundraiser was a way for the community to celebrate the high school and all of its students' success. Several Washington state lawmakers stood up to uh, four immigrants' rights this weekend outside of a detention facility in SeaTac where hundreds of women have been separated from their children. Elected officials like Governor Inslee and the state attorney general plan to fight the Trump administration's zero-tolerance policy on illegal immigration. And all morning long, we've been getting you ready for Hoop Fest, ways to train at home. This is one that I love. This is a speed ladder, and running through it can help you to increase your overall speed, something you're going to probably need during those games. How can you make one at home? Well, find lines in the ground or take your kid's chalk and create your own sidewalk ladder. Coming up next on Good Morning America, she was taken from the hospital hours after she was born and raised by her kidnapper. Now the woman she thought was her mom will spend 18 years in prison. And a 12-foot-long alligator attacked and killed a Florida woman out walking her dogs. Why well, experts say the gator got so violent. Taking a live look outside. The uh, smoke looking really nice this morning. I think you're going to love it. Get out and enjoy. Maybe a light jacket needed to, to start the day. 65 and mild. It's going to be warmer as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday. Low to mid-70s, even some upper 70s expected Wednesday. And then Thursday, 68 and mild. Look at that, 81 on Saturday with a 20% chance of showers. Okay, weekend looks nice. Better chances for the weekend. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> GMA starts right now. We'll see you throughout the morning.